if you want to have the best experience of uh, you know rep growing vegetable growing really you should try and visit Kabango area here in Lusaka definitely that's why you're going to find people have got so much passion for growing vegetables and when I talk about vegetables we're looking at a variety of it it could be rep it could be spinach and on top of that others have even ventured into growing what we call okra and of course there is also kalembla as well and on top of that other vegetables as well that really add so much nutrition to the food table and uh, these farmers have actually been supplying the Zambian market, Lusaka market, Soweto market with a variety of vegetables. If you really, really visit town like every day about 0, 4 in the morning and more than that, you're going to see a lot of, you know, uh, trucks, vehicles bringing a variety of vegetables to the market. We were privileged today to visit one of the farm exactly where, you know, um, they have decided to venture in uh, rep growing partly there is also you know um, okra umlembwe and of course they're also planning on uh, bringing in chinese as well and of course i can see a bit of um, kalembla as well so there is a lot of diversification in as far as the vegetable growing is concerned so today we are now looking at uh, vegetable growing and of course i'm going to be talking to mr saki who is uh, the owner of uh, a saki farm farm exactly i call it saki farms because um, he is the gentleman who has given us uh, the privilege of visiting his farm as well. Mr. Saki, thank you so much for allowing us to visit your farm today. Yeah, thank you very much. Nelson. Thank you so um, much. I'm glad to have you. I'm impressed with what <laughs> I can see here. Oh, yeah? It's quite impressive. Thank you. <laughs> so thank for how you. long have you been doing this? Um, started, I started last year. Okay. Yes, it should be around October. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. October. Amazing. Mm -hmm. You've done an amazing job here. But obviously mm -hmm. from uh, my little experience that I have where, you know, vegetable farming is concerned, mm -hmm. I can see that, you know, your rep is in stages. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It's yes. in stages. It's stages. There's obviously stage one. There. I don't know whether it's stage one and no. something like that. So how do you do it? No. Okay. Um, so with the stages, actually, that's not stage one. Okay. The, the stage one is uh, the one that you can see at the far end there. Okay. So with that one, as for now, um, we uh, we got some rep. It's the one that we're getting from. So we are, we're selling. This that's the one that we are selling. Okay. And then after that one, it's this large portion that will come up. Okay. So this is the second stage. Okay. Yes. With the third stage is the one that is coming up just here. Okay. Mm, so by the time that we are finishing selling with that one, this one will be ready. After this one. A cycle okay yes please. amazing amazing yeah. all right so now to start with obviously land preparation is key mm. when you are venturing in um, vegetable farming mm. so how do you prepare your land to make sure that it's ready for you know for the plantation itself no okay all right so the first thing that uh, we do is uh, we disinfect the land okay uh, we make sure we what disinfect do you use to land. disinfect your land um, there's a uh, uh, disinfector called uh, I don't know if I can mention the yeah the it's dome. okay yeah it? it's dome okay yes once you once you use it it um, kills every every bacteria every insect okay is this the, the same soil. is this the same dome that it was sometimes usually used to don't actually don't yes dawn. Oh, okay all right yeah. so that what is the main purpose of disinfecting land okay all right uh, if you do not disinfect land you find that uh, the vegetables when coming up though have a lot of um, infections okay. the vegetables won't be won't be healthy so if you start it from the scratch the land is good everything is ready you see even when the rep is coming out or the vegetables are coming out you won't have much of the challenge in um, applying fertilizer or making sure that um, the vegetables are healthy okay. so if you miss it from the start meaning that it will be a very big challenge for you to grow them okay yes interesting all right so now how do you begin to tell that my land is fertile for vegetable growing it could be rep chinese mm. spinach or anything that falls in line or falls in the group of vegetables so okay all right so with um, the bacteria that you find in the in the in the soil um you can actually you can you can actually tell because if the land is not disinfected for example it makes some um, some 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 heaps okay of uh, little 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 insects mm -hmm. yes so by the time that you spray and then you cannot see any sign of such things you are able to see that the land is the land is ready okay yes please. all right so now let me just take for instance this here 
Mm. Exactly. How do I tell that this soil is good for rep growing, for example? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Like, uh, like, 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 like for this one, you can tell because um, if you just take a look, mm -hmm. it's not um, consisting of a lot of lot of sand. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you have a lot of sand, meaning that the fertility of the soil should be questioned. Okay. Yes, but with this one, it's not it's, 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 it's not a problem. And once you disinfect it, then you are good to go. Okay. So at this level, maybe I might also want to find out what. Uh, what type of soil is conducive for the growth of rep in spe specifically? Mm, uh, I, I can't really point out on uh, the exactly type, but uh, mm. with this one, I think it has been it has been it has been it has been working. It has been working with me. Okay. Yeah, it has been working with me. Okay. There are mm. some farmers that um, that usually uh, that usually have. Um, uh, Room type of soil, mm. for for instance, mm. exactly that soil that uh, usually stick together, mm. black. Yes, yes, yes. Sticks yes. together like that. Mm. Uh, could that be conducive for the growth of rep? I think so. I think so. It can be. Mm -hmm. It can be. Yes, because um, with this land, for example, what I notice is that uh, it doesn't uh, hold on to a lot of water for for a long time. Okay. So. If you can have that kind of soil, even even even, even better. Okay. Yes. So what I did to make sure that it's holding on to a lot of water, like like you've noticed the way I I made the the beds, mm -hmm. I made them a little bit a little bit lower, so they can be able to to hold water for a, for for a long time. So it may not be the best of soils to 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 to, to grow vegetables, but uh, when you plant well, you know your land, the kind of soil that you're dealing with. I'm sure you are able to to make something out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But generally it's not bad. At what stage do you think there's a, uh, a, a lot of labor requirement when you are dealing with rep? Mm, it's it's on the initial initial stage when you're just starting. Okay. Clearing off the field, <coughs> making beds and making sure that you level the beds in such a way that water is not uh, splitting on one side because okay. that becomes a problem you find that all the seeds have gone on um, on one side meaning that uh, they will be they'll be crowded together and they won't come up as as healthy okay yes okay okay mm. so when somebody <coughs> when somebody is uh, doing land preparation mm. for the growth of rep yes what are some of the things that they need to put into consideration even before they can even decide to put the seed in the soil Okay, all right. Uh, one of the first thing is uh, you need to know the soil that you are planting uh, your vegetables on, because um, if you don't know, it can it can become even costly on you, because some of the infections that may be coming in, for example, you wouldn't know exactly how to how to treat them. But if you know your your soil very well, it will mean that even when it comes to watering, you will know, for example, the amount of water that you are supposed to put. Like, like, like with me, I think the first stage, I used to water almost every day. Okay. Yeah, but when I, uh, I looked at the kind of soil that uh, I'm having with the kind of arrangement that I've, uh, I've, I've put up, I'm only watering once after a day. Okay. Yes, okay. Which, is, which is quite effective for me. Okay, interesting. All right, so now, um, obviously, uh, during this period that you've been doing this, mm. <coughs> I'm sure that... Um, you have also had an opportunity of visiting other farmers, interacting with other farmers who are also growing the rep. Others are new, others are old, and so on and so forth. What are some mm. of the mistakes that you think most farmers who grow rep usually mm. make, which might somehow affect their yield? So oh, okay, all right. Um, one of them is uh, the type of uh, rep that you get. Okay. You really need to be careful with the type of rep that you get. For example. Uh, with this kind of rep, it may go on for three, three months. Okay. Yes, you're just uh, you're just harvesting. With others, they grow uh, they grow fast easily. 
yes and you find that uh, you only harvest uh, once twice or in a month you find that the the the, 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 the rape is is old it can't bring out uh, uh, fresh uh, fresh leaves okay. so you really need to know the kind of rape that you are that you are getting so that you can be able to to push you stay for a long time okay mm -hmm. Before, b before I can continue really uh, looking at uh, the rape which has reached at that particular level, mm. I'm sure that when rape has just been planted, I think that's what I've seen, mm. when rape has just been planted, uh, it is usually planted just in a very small portion. Yes. And um, they're usually mm, mm, small. They're usually small and quite close to each other. Yes, yes, exactly. yes, yes, yes. What is the best time to transplant into perhaps the whole entire field? Oh, okay. All right. So with that method that you've uh, you've, you've mentioned, um, it's a uh, it's a two-way thing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, either you use that method where you just heap them on a crowded place, or you can plant the whole field like this one, and then um, when they start grow, you see that they are they are touching together. That's when you can start removing them. Okay. Actually, that's what I do. I've um, I've, I've, I've I've thought of that to be. To be to be to be the best way. Okay. Yes, because at times if you entirely remove them from where you had planted them to the actual field, that also contributes on um, on their growth. Yes. So I just remove the ones that are attached together so that I can leave space for the others to grow. All right. So now I believe that um, at at the land preparation stage, mm. aside from just making sure that you know there are no uh, infectious bacteria, mm. and of course others that might actually affect your rep. Mm. There are others that there are other things that you usually put in before rep is usually or is initially planted. Is there any manure that you apply to the soil? Yes, before? yes, yes, yes. After after we've done uh, all the beds, we put manure. That is a uh, chicken manure. Okay. Yes, we mix it with the soil with the soil and make sure that we level it up and then we, we water for three days before planting. So now, you know, the beauty part with rep is that um, you usually grow it <coughs> in stages. There's always what we call stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. Obviously, uh, Saki is going to explain why rep is usually grown in stages, but right here we've decided to make a move to what they call stage one. So stage one, from the look of things, you can even tell that at least Vantu Wanatiolamo Tiolamo, and I'm, I'm sure that's Wanatiolamo Kamons, but Monica got Wanatiolamo Tiolamo about twice or three times. So that's the beauty part of rep as well. It does not just give you one yield, but you can do four, five, six yields. And like Saki pointed out, when you grow rep and you start harvesting, you can actually harvest for the next three months. Now, Saki, uh, mm. from the look of things, there's been a lot of harvesting that has taken place here. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know how many times people have uh, harvested from here. Um, in fact, uh, it's uh, towards, towards three months because uh, it was only a week less than this, the, which, which was in here. So this one mm. should be once or twice, then it will be, it will be done. So it's, 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 it's uh, in its uh, late stage. Okay. Yes. So every time the harvest takes place, is it automatic that you're supposed to apply chemicals or pest controllers or you can just leave it and you're just giving it water? Um, it, 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 it depends for how long that you want to be, to, be, to, 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 to be plucking. Let's say for example if you've just done it in one day and then the next time that you're thinking of doing it, it's uh, next week. You want it to grow a little bit. You, you apply chemicals. But if you think even the next day you want to pluck as well. I mean, there's no need of, uh, of applying chemicals because that will be dangerous to, to the consumer. Let's talk about pest control here. Mm. Just how, how vital is pest control when you are venturing in rep agriculture? 
it's 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 very very important actually that's one of uh, the most cardinal thing that you're supposed to to look at when you're going into 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 rep farming because um, where a lot of people miss it for example is that once you 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 you, you plant they need to naturally grow no you need to take care of it make sure that you are applying the right chemical to make sure that um, there are no infections otherwise we are mentioning of the rep staying for three months it's not always the case with others who are not doing the right thing you find that it's um, one month some weeks they are they are, they are done with, uh, with with harvesting so if you do the right thing chemicals then that's when it can go as far as that okay mm. okay and um, when you are talking about controlling pests using chemicals are we just talking about just applying one particular chemical or maybe you can as well improvise by applying a different number of chemicals okay um uh, with that one it depends with how the rep is uh, is coming up for example if uh, you see the rep not coming up uh, in a healthy way and others you find that it's coming up in a healthy way but uh, the leaves are not as as big so veg top 24 for example works out best when it comes to broadening the leaves so i can't say that uh, there's one particular chemical that you need to put for the rep to grow it depends when you look at the rep and what you want it to come out like that's that that's what determines uh, what you need to put okay so now what what are some of the common pests and infections that usually tend to attack rep uh, the, the the pest the pest the pest uh, may not know them by name but okay. uh, if i if i if i if i see them for example, on leaves, there are those that attack the leaves mm -hmm. and there are those that attack the, the roots. Mm -hmm. At times you find that um, the leaves are not coming up as uh, healthy as possible. And then if you check on the leaves, you find some little yellow insects on them. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then with uh, the one that, is, uh, that eats from down, that is as a result of not uh, doing your homework in the initial stage. Yes. So... There are, there, are, there are different types of uh, pests that would uh, damage the crop. So at what stage do these pests, especially the ones that attack the leaves, mm. usually tend to do so? Um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the second week, more especially. Yeah, in the second week when the leaves are, are soft and uh, they're, easily, they're, they're easily attacked because that's when they're just coming up. They are in their initial stages but once you passed first second week then uh, yeah okay of course there are other insects that may, may 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 come up but mostly you need to be careful that's when they are germinating in the first second week you really need to be careful in that period okay mm. amazing all right so now when you apply when you apply your chemicals on your rep for how long does it take for you to start you know plucking and perhaps eating mm. and uh, allowing other people to come and order and of course sell on the market oh okay all right with that it depends with the type of uh, chemical that uh, you've applied others they take uh, a week others it's two weeks okay yes so depending on the plan that you have put in place that you'll be plucking your rep for example if like in my case um, we pluck every every week so just after plucking, I make sure that um, um, I spray the rep and uh, put whatever chemical that is needed. And then after one week, that's when you to be ready to be plucked again. I was thinking maybe when you are deciding on what chemical to use, I was mm. thinking maybe perhaps you look at um, the efficiency of a particular chemical and mm. what you're dealing with. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that's the reason why I, 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 I mentioned that it um, all depends with uh, the type of uh, infections that you, are, that you want to treat. I did mention of uh, veg top 24 for example, if you want to work on your leaves, if your leaves are not doing well, that is the best. Okay, yes. so now, uh, if, I, if I was to look at uh, the health of, um, of a vegetable like rep, Mm. How do I tell that, okay, my vegetables are very healthy okay. and they are doing fine? All right. 
Okay, so um, you are supposed to concentrate much on uh, the leaves, the way the leaves are coming out and the color of the leaves. Some rep would grow to full growth, of course, but you find that the, the leaf is not as green as it's supposed to be. So if you look at the, 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 the leaf, if it looks green, darkish, darkish green, then you know that your rep is doing fine. How about in instances uh, where you know you'd find that perhaps my rep is developing some yellow patches? Mm. What does that mean? Um, it will mean that uh, one, it, it it may be it may be lack of water, okay, or like like we experienced. Uh, we had we had rains previously. We mm -hmm. had some rains, so that also contri contributed. Of course, rains comes with uh, some chemicals, so that also contributes if not then could be lack of water and once you notice that the best way is actually plucking them out so that they don't get to disinfect I mean they don't get to affect uh, affect the other the other plant as you try to find out the solution so in line with what you just said how much care really does mm. rep need from the point of planting to the point of you know harvest how much care does rep need um it needs it needs a lot of care more especially in uh, the, the 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 early stages as you as you plant it you need to monitor it because obviously at that point it's um it's very delicate as i mentioned in the first and second week you have to be very observant of what's happening to 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 to, to the rep so in the first and second week, you really need to give it as much care as you can. And uh, after that, when the leaves are okay, I'm sure it's just a matter of uh, spraying and probably add a little bit of fertilizer just to keep up the growth. How often do you apply fertilizer? Um, I apply fertilizer um, once. I apply fertilizer once. The stage that I apply fertilizer at is um, just after I've, um, when I've done when I've done the nursery, and then I've uh, removed the 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 the, 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 the small ones because they, they they are usually attached together. So at that period, in the second in the third week actually, that's when I apply the fertilizer. Okay. Mm. Okay. So at at the initial land preparation stage, mm. uh, there is no any fertilizer that is applied at that stage. I, I, I don't apply any fertilizer. With me, what I use is, uh, is manure. I use manure and then with fertilizer, it's a point of uh, enhancing the, the growth. I believe that, you know, we've got two types of fertilizers that are usually used in uh, farming purposes. That is mm. decompound and urea. Mm. How do you alternate this? At what stage do you usually apply this? Uh, with, with me, I actually put them at, uh, at the same point. I, 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 I mix them and put at the same point. Okay. Yes. All right. And What's the purpose of out. that mixing? Mm, I guess it contributes when it comes to uh, providing the plant with the nutrients. Yes. Okay. And that has been working for me. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. Now I've observed that, you know, uh, here you have uh, other plans of perhaps introducing a different crop coming in. Mm. It could be Chinese or any other vegetable. Mm. Um, when it comes to pest control, you've got mm. one, more than one uh, vegetable at your farm. Mm. When it comes to pest control, how easy is it? Don't they compromise each other? Uh, no, they don't. Because most of um, the, the, the pests that you put on these, um, I mean with these um, vegetables are basically, are basically the same. They differ at times, but uh, if you know your crop very well and um, uh you notice how it's growing i'm sure with each and every with each and every vegetable you may be able to to tell the kind of uh, pest that is that is needed. So as we wrap it up for today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you've got a farm and you want to grow or to venture into vegetables, obviously you might want to, to, to 
consider also just adding up a few spices here and there so for sake wow he's decided to put up a bit of chihuahua and of course a bit of delele as well there's a um, mlem, uh, mlem, i think this is uh, jamlem woju about i think he's also decided to add up a bit of it so if he wants he can just keep this for home consumption and uh, if he wants as well he can as well trip it to the market and people will still buy but obviously my interest somehow could be when it comes to pest control so uh sake i don't know how you you control pests especially when it comes to controlling pests and mm -hmm. controlling pest and there's also chihuahua there i don't know how you control you know to do your to my diseases and all that oh okay all right um that's 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 not uh, that's not a challenge that's mm -hmm. not a problem when um it has been treated it doesn't it doesn't affect the it doesn't okay. affect the rib no it doesn't it doesn't so it's done in such a way that we make sure that uh the the pray the spray concentrate on the rib i mean on the okra if it's the time of um of um of spraying the the, the, the okra so at least what i'm getting is you mm. don't spray okra and rep together no 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 no. we don't but do you we use don't. the same drug or maybe use different chemicals no 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 we, we don't uh, depending on um, the kind of uh, pest that we've noticed but mostly the kind of um, uh, insects that you would find on um, on on on, on delele they are quite different with the ones that you would find on rep so definitely the the, the chemicals are, are different but uh, but how how vulnerable is mulemwe delele mm. when it comes to Delele, delele, it's uh, I can say it's better than than than, than rep when it comes to that. Rep is more delicate than uh, than than delele. Okay. With delele, you just have to make sure you notice it as it grows. If it shows some sign, that's when you that's when that's when you come in. But with rep, you have to be extremely careful. Otherwise, you may go on a loss. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to um, the harvest period for delele, how long mm -hmm. does it take just to get ready to be harvested for the market or for home consumptions? Uh, it's, it's, it's basically three months. Three months? Yes. Okay. Three months. Yeah, three months, yes. When it comes to land preparation, mm -hmm. uh, do, you add, do you also prepare this land the mm -hmm. way, you know, land preparation for rep is done? Yes, yes. With that, with that is the same because the whole essence of uh, preparing it we just ensure that uh, we've created an environment where a plant a plant can grow where it won't it won't have any any infections so preparing of the lands we do it at once all the same okay mm. regardless of what you want to put there mm. it's it's the same it's the same like in the case of okra and rep what we did it was just disinfecting the whole area okay yes we okay. also applied manure when starting okay Yes. All right. And uh, when you're when you're deciding to choose what vegetables to mix together, mm. uh, do you look at uh, their market value, or or maybe there are other factors that you put into consideration? Uh, basically, basically that's the that's the main 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 factor. Because uh, with farming, if you grow a wrong crop, for example, in a particular season, meaning that. Uh, there are chances of you going, 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 going on, on a loss. Mm -hmm. So the market value is also one of the thing, main thing actually, which is uh, which is considered. So with um, with uh, with uh, with the with the delele, the okra, uh, I decided to do this portion just to try it out and see how it will come out. But uh, from what I've gotten, it's uh, it's good, and I think it's a it's a viable it's a viable project. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Earlier you talked about also thinking of bringing in Chinese. Mm. W when are you looking at uh, putting Chinese on the ground? Uh, next week actually. Okay. There's a part that has already been, uh, been prepared for that. Just by the edge of the farm there's a portion. It's already ready for that. It's just a matter of uh, uh, watering it a bit and put the seeds. Okay. Uh, do, you also, do you also keep chickens here? That uh, supply you with manure that you use for for the vegetables that's one of the future plans <laughs> not yet <laughs> not yet for now we, we 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 buy manure okay we buy manure yes but uh, in future we may venture into that as well okay so now looking at uh, how huge the portion is then how much manure are we looking at at the moment mm. that you usually buy mm. okay all right. Uh, 
very good question like like this portion of um, of rep when preparing it i got um, above 30 bags 30 bags yes above 30 bags and uh, 50 kgs of them yes above 30 okay yes wow mm. there's a lot of labor there Yes, a lot of hard work is needed. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hard work is needed there. Yes, yes, it's bags, not. Yeah, no, no, it's not for the for the for the faint-hearted. Mm -hmm. You really have to be passionate about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with that, yes, it may seem to be a lot of work, but when you start harvesting, then you'll be able to see that it was worth it. It was worth it. Yes. I agree with you. It was worth it because what I'm seeing here, this mm. is worth it because at this stage, I, I can easily smell money. <laughs> 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 All right, so now finally, um, when it comes to, I, I've heard a few people, you'd find that they'll tell you, mm. what causes that? What causes lip kupia sometimes? Uh, sometimes it could be it's not receiving um, it's receiving it's not receiving enough um, enough water. Mm -hmm. If not, uh, it could be that you put a lot of manure or a lot of fertilizer. More mm -hmm. especially if you put them in such a way that they even sit on the leaves. Okay. Yeah, it will it, it will result into that. Oh. Yes. Okay. So there are a lot of factors actually that contribute to that. No matter you have to be very careful when when growing it. Okay. At each and every stage, you need to ensure that uh, things are right. At each and every stage, you need to ensure that things are right. I think it's been a worthwhile visit here, and uh, I must say it's been an amazing uh, experience. I'm sure that next time when I think of growing rep, I think I'll be very, very ready just to make sure that I get the best yield out of it. One thing that I've learned from here is um, the way Saki has prepared his field, the way he has demarcated um, uh, his portions. I think this is, my, this is the first time that I've seen actually the, the beds being created the way it is. And like he mentioned, one of the reasons why he has uh, created uh, the hollow the hollow inside of, you know, the bed is to make sure that, you know, the water concentration is right there so that the rep can have enough water. I think it's something that you can also apply. It's something that you can try as well at your farm. You'll see that um, water will be able to be stored in uh, the camp bed. You'll be able to store enough water such that even if you don't water for a day or so, at least the rep will still have at least enough moisture for it to grow. And I think even when it comes to manure concentration, I think it's very, very good as well. Quite a lot of lessons to learn from our friends who are already doing this. And hopefully that, you know, you've learned one or two things from it. I don't know where I'm going to take you next time, but obviously expect another experience of a lifetime as we venture in, um, as we venture in, um, in, in, in more agricultural practices being done by different people. So today we decided to visit our friend Saki. Next time, we don't know where we are going to be. Otherwise, it's bye-bye and God bless you.